My name is uh, Germans Frelos. No, I'm not from Germany. I was born and raised in Latvia and currently living in Denmark. I started SEO at in the end of 2019 in an internship, which taught me a lot of basics about a traditional SEO. Later, I worked in various study jobs as a digital marketer and currently working as a digital marketing manager with a big passion for SEO. I'm also involved in organizing Copenhagen SEO meetups here in Denmark. And in my free time, I'm working on various personal SEO projects and doing a little bit of uh, SEO freelance work. I uh, actually first heard, ab heard about Korai in his infamous uh, podcast with Matt Diggity. And uh, what really appealed to me is the fact that uh, he could really achieve such high rankings, huge traffic numbers without overly kind of like relying on backlinks. Then I read uh, the case study on Oncrow, uh, which intrigued me even more. And then I tried reading the advanced version of that case study on Holistic SEO that digital failed three times <laughs> because it was just too complex. Uh, but then uh, I kind of in hindsight knew that this is really the future of uh, SEO and I would I need to learn more about it. When the course launched, I purchased it within the first 10, 15 minutes and started learning. Uh, first time when I went through the course, I think I had like more than 100 pages of notes in a, in a single Google Doc. Uh, but then I went through the course three more times and uh, actually uh, now before the version 2.0 launches, I'm planning to do it for the fifth time. Every time I went through the course, I learned something new and uh, had multiple aha moments every time I went through the course. Um, this course uh, introduced very new innovative concepts uh, that were derived from search uh, engine research papers, Google patents and so on, which was very fascinating to me, but of course very complex to understand at first. Um, but after understanding it, uh, as I said, uh, I got multiple aha moments and it just all started to make so much sense. Uh, I think that actually the starting price uh, of the whole course is not really comparable to how much research went into uh, extracting these concepts from hundreds of, of patents and research papers and then assembling them all in, in these components uh, of, of uh, semantic SEO for topical authority, including topical map, content brief, writing, uh, following uh, semantic SEO, micro semantic principles, uh, I mean, and uh, algorithmic authorship rules. Um, I would say that actually this course could be kind of like equivalent to a master's degree <laughs> in SEO that would be uh, setting you up for a PhD degree, if you can say so. Um, I at least believe so. Uh, I think it provides very, very unique thinking or kind of like changes your mindset about SEO if you just come from a traditional way of doing SEO. And um, of course, it is not for everyone. <laughs> But uh, I think it is well worth the money if uh, you are ready to work, learn and implement uh, the learnings. It is definitely not a course for uh, someone who just wants to sit and relax and uh, watch it before going to bed. <laughs> and um, speaking of implementing, I'm actually yet to publish a complete uh, kind of like project uh, completely from the scratch following all the core eyes uh, framework. But I am uh, currently working on it, and in the coming months, I'm planning to launch one, and I'll be happy to update the community on how it is going in a few months or half a year time. That being said, I have been implementing uh, micro semantic principles uh, on existing websites, and I can say it works really, really well. Uh, more specifically, like I'm talking about rewriting existing content, uh, taking into consideration microsemantic principles, algorithmic authorship rules discussed in the course. And uh, yeah, so many times I saw a page just, just jumping from page two on the SERP to top of page one. Uh, and uh, actually recently I checked annotations on the SEO testing tool that I use. And I can uh, tell that on average after rewriting the content following the principles, of uh, microsemantics and uh, the writing rules, uh, I can see on average 80% click increase seven days uh, comparing, comparing seven days before and after. 
And uh, yeah, I never had such a big confidence in improving rankings of existing content just by following the micro semantic and writing algorithmic authorship rules. Um, that being said, um, yeah, after actually going through this course, I uh, uh, also asked uh, Korai for permission if I can uh, make a presentation about it because I thought that, yeah, there are so many people still doing SEO traditional way and I could just, I just could not sit like that uh, and, and do nothing about it. Uh, so on uh, January 18, I had a chance to present uh, in person uh, the introduction to semantic SEO and older and topical authority uh, according to Korai's framework uh, to uh, an audience of 70 people. And uh, fun fact, actually, after uh, asking how many people have gone through the course, I saw only two people picking up hands, one of which was my friend that I recommended to course back in May 2023 when I first went through it. Uh, but I'm sure after the presentation, many more people then <laughs> uh, Googled it and uh, to check what is it all about. Um, yeah, and now I'm just going through all the case studies and watching the videos and also, thanks to Korai, um, I'm also reading, starting to read the patents and also Bill Slavsky's articles. And maybe lastly, I wanted to mention the community aspect of the course. Um, I think it unlocks even more value. Uh, you get to meet new people, uh, very like-minded people who are passionate about SEO. You get to learn more uh, about... Uh, yeah, how others are approaching the, these, these concepts and using them and implementing them. And you also get different business opportunities by collaborating, well, by networking with people. So, uh, yeah, I, I have met quite a few very smart individuals, which I'm very happy about. That being said, this was, let's say, my review of Semantic SEO for Topical Authority course, and uh, I'll see you in the community.